update everyone today we're in another abandoned house this one here is fully furnished take a look shoes are still here you have this staircase when you first come in lead you to the upstairs area you have a nice walkout patio here in the back there was even a swing set back there at some point Somebody's hat. All right, so back through here is a back hallway that leads to a bathroom area. You take a look, it looks like this is like, I think that's supposed to be a drawing of a cat. So maybe they had kids here, but then I see two packages of these on the ground here. Value size 28 count. So I mean, I don't know. This is tough to tell. Maybe I mean maybe this was the person's grandchild who drew this and they have their um their old person diapers there. I don't know. Um if you take a look, they had a, a stand-up walk-in shower here. Uh some of the stuff is still there, the shampoo, things like that. right here it says uh, somebody's CBS bacterial ointment right here it says cleanliness is next to godliness yes and through here they had a closet if you look in the closet all this stuff is still here Towels, Lysol, and then a bunch of markers. Um, through here, oh, check this out. <laughs> we have this old Jeopardy game right here based on the television show. See, oh yeah. They all these things like clickers, like look. Like you push, you're supposed to push these down and it's supposed to make the noise like if you're clicking in. I wonder if any of them work, let's see. No, not really. I see some film canisters. I see another game. Oh, Bradley Password. That looks like an old one. Yeah, there's some over here as well. What's in here? Oh, wow. There's an old bingo game in here. Yeah, there's more games in here. Board games. They were into board games. Yeah, I'm gonna check out the kitchen and I'll head over there. So here was the kitchen. This place doesn't have power, but a lot of this stuff is left behind here. If you look, there are some like plastic knives or something in there. Looks like some cookbooks. They have their mop here still big old microwave this one sits in there pretty far then over here there were some family photos take a look And the date on these is, uh, the baby photo is 2000. Honestly, this looks like the same girl. So I think that this here was when she was a baby. Right here. And then right here, she was still a baby, but a little bit bigger. With mom and dad. It's probably the granddaughter. And then right here, she looks like maybe like four or five years old. There, maybe four or five. And here's another picture. I'm not sure if that's her, but it's a kid in a bathtub. Um, let's see. Here we 
we have like this dare slingshot thing. And then here we have another picture. Um, this looks like a different little girl. Maybe another granddaughter. Uh, this old range here above it. You have these little magnets. I think I had some of these when I was a kid. I think this was a Coca-Cola one, but they somebody tore the label off. Here it looks like they might have been doing some work. There's an old TV stand there, but I think um obviously it was like a one for like a bigger TV, like one like a regular size TV. I mean maybe they had a kitchen table in there at one point. It looks like they in this room here it looks like they did. Alright, let's go through here. Check out the rest of the rooms in this place. Here's the board games Dennis was talking about. Yeah, one of them was from Benny's. They paid $13 for it. Wow. So this is pretty cool here. What happened? I like, yeah, I kind of here, you know, just yeah. Wow, this is cool. The living room is nice. It's funny that it's funny that everything is still here. Right, let's take a walk around this living room quick. You have this chair here. Oh look, there's like a little skeleton decoration on it or something. And then there, curtains is still here. Couch, and this is pretty cool. Again, they must have had this set up for the grandkids. Over here we have some alcohol and some books. thing that says Merry Christmas it must have been Christmas when they left this place no I'm just kidding it's like a it's like a joke for people who do this exploring urbex stuff we always joke around uh, we have this old wedding type of thing here <laughs> if you take a look the groom the poor groom's missing his head <laughs> oh god and then behind me here in this living area we still have this bookshelf that has some books this is built right in, it goes so high up there. It says, Baseball Book of Firsts. That's pretty cool. You like baseball. Looks like they started doing a play. Yeah. Some glasses. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like they started to re they're gonna renovate the place, yeah, but. Yeah, and they just left. It's just so weird how people do that. Yeah. Right here, there's a Christmas card. Yep, definitely grandparents is a book. I love you, Grandma. Here we go. All right, so here they have their bunch of records, 30 piano masterpieces. This looks like a Christmas with the Clancy Brothers. Perry. Homo Christmas album. Let's take a look at one more. Guitaro, my best. This is like a Japanese type of thing. Huh. Up here, have a mantle, have some books. This painting. Oh, look at this, some Dong Perignon. 1999 vintage down here we have some more records we have cats quite possibly in some people's opinions maybe one of the worst musicals of all time okay 
over here we have a dining room table take a look these people like their liqueur here we have some Tangeray special dry imported distilled English gin three plates over here this one says Angie this one says Kathy and then we have Angela over here and then down here we have one that says Bobby and then one that says Robbie over there so some of these were hung up on the wall somewhere but this uh this area is pretty unique actually like this was just like a big open area where the family could congregate. If you take a look over here, you have the living room. Still fully furnished, everything is there. And then as you turn, like I did in the B-roll I shot, you can see you have the fireplace right here in the middle, an open area. And over here you have the dining room. All right, let's go take a look in these other rooms over here quick. Some more stuff here and there was a bunch of stuff on these shelves at one point see some toys here oh this looks like another little groom got a hot wheels batman car looks like it went to one of those play sets or something all right through here oh, look at this we have an old gps you don't see these that often anymore and one of the greatest movies of all time, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. On DVD. Let's see if it's still in there. Oh, it's not in there. Whatever. All right. So here, there was some more children's toys. Train set that's not put together or anything like that. Um, here, you can see they had like an ironing board set up. Some shirts, iron ironing board. Other than that, there's not much left in this room. Chaps, easy care. So these aren't these aren't that old. Uh, through here is the staircase. Take a look. Um, there are two staircases that led to the upstairs. This is one of them here. And there was another one on the back side. And then when you turn this way, you have the front door right here. And the staircase. All right, and you can see right here that this is definitely abandoned. You can see the decay, the paint peeling in here. This actually isn't a bad setup, Dennis. It's not. Like, you know, when you walk in from this area here, it's like almost like they had like a, a, a mini breakfast nook kitchen area over there. Then you walk this way, you had like maybe like a dining room or an in-between room, and then you had this huge open area. But the walls are like gutted in here, so you're right. I think that they were like... Yeah, it's like they were doing something and then they just stopped. Right yeah. That one room, well, two rooms over there. Yeah. All right, right now we're gonna check out the upstairs area here. Let's see what's up here. They had this nice runner carpet at one time. So at the top of the stairs, we come into here, will be the first bedroom. Um, oh, I'll take a look at this. Looks like some type of a high school football picture. Do you hear on the back of it? Oh wait. Uh, 1968. November 21st, 1968. I don't want to give away any names or anything. Um, Cause there, there is some stuff in this place that does have names on it. If you look here, an old Kodak camera. So 
some more crayons like new and here's something newer white strips if you look some old ties and there still here excuse me and here this was from uh this was Splash Mountain or something. But it looks like they went on a family vacation. And then over here, it looks like they had trouble sleeping. There's some melatonin. Yeah, so like I said, this is a place that's kind of a mix of old and new stuff. I mean, here's even a box for an Amazon Fire Stick. So, I mean, it tells you not that old some of the things in here are not that old um i'm not gonna go rummaging through any more of this stuff i mean you can see that their shoes are left behind i just don't want to get into the personal stuff with the names um like i've told people before uh you know i oh it looks like maybe a teacher lived here the language of teaching Um, like I've tried to tell everyone before in my videos, I don't go telling a big story about the place. You know, we go in, we show you what's here, and then we let you decide or make up your own story of what you think will happen. Um, you know, because there are a lot of people that give up too much information, and then people are able to find these places. Oh wow, look at this bedroom. You look here there's a crib in here and everything so this looks like it might have been uh, like an adult's room here because you have this bed with the posts and over here you have a crib wow This here says, to our best teacher ever, Lexi and Casey. And it's got like a number one teacher and like a teddy bear. And then down here, it has the kids thumbprints. And then on the nightstand over here, we have, it says our new grandson. Let's go check out the rest of the rooms in this place. I'll come back after and um, take some more short videos and stuff and some pictures. Oh wow, this is definitely like a little girl's room. Look at this. You can see the drawings on the wall. Wow. And over here there's a calendar. Let's see. There we go, that's a better, it gives us a better idea. December of 2012. So this place has been sitting for like 11 years like this. Oh look, there's a dead mouse right there. In the windowsill. But again, you can see, definitely a little girl's room. There are these decent hardwood floors in here. For some reason, there's a toilet in the little girl's room. But we also have some toys over here. It's sad, it makes you wonder what happened in this place. Now I'm gonna actually have to do some more research. Alright, if you look through here, you have one of those little claw, claw foot tubs. 
in this little bathroom that's in between here. So be careful because you can see through some of the floorboards there down to the bottom floor. But this is where the toilet was. They definitely ripped it out. And through here, looks like there was another bedroom. Whoever lived here, Dennis, was a teacher. I seen it. I'm like, all right, this this lady was a teacher. Yeah. Yep. There are things with the name on it, so I'm being very careful not to. Yeah. Dark dartboard and books. Lots of books in this place. Oh, look at this right here. An Annie uh, vinyl. Then I remember about Annie's, that song about the dog. Remember there was a song about the dog? I remember, it's funny. But they're definitely into the musicals, all that jazz, Annie. <laughs> remember these books? This one's the Lively Little Rabbit. That's funny. this here oh it's a Lego creator but there's no Legos in it Lego creator three in one all right let's keep going this place is pretty big yeah that's it oh this is the staircase going down yep, that's it. all right wow that's it with this place that's why I'm just now I'm just taking photos and yeah. stuff that's all I'm gonna do and nothing else Hey, that was pretty big. Yeah, it's a big house for I was going to go check the basement, but I'm like, nah. Nah, I don't know. All right, everybody. Well, that's it for this one here. If you enjoy this type of content, please like and subscribe for more. Um, I'm here with uh, Dennis from Exploring with Big D on YouTube. Uh, as everybody knows, I'm the king of exploring. Please like, share, subscribe. That always helps us out big time. Uh, and if you, again, if you appreciate our content, please subscribe for more. And uh, hopefully by the time this video comes out, I will have posted more videos. Um, I was forced to take a little break. Uh, not exactly what I wanted to do, but I had to for a little bit. But uh, hopefully everybody's stuck with me. Have more videos on the way. All right, I'm out.